Plasma is an engineering sandbox. Unleash your creativity with fun and intuitive robotics, physics, and visual programming. Watching this little video from Steam, it looks really cool. You just throw a load of pieces together, and bang, you've got a little thing. Be whatever it is that you've made. It seems to be pretty easy to build all sorts of different things. They can do all sorts of wonderful things. And then we see this. This is Sketch. This is where things start to get a little bit crazy. Sketch is the game's own programming. And this is where things go from being a game to being something a little bit more complicated. Visually, the game looks like it has so much to offer, with so much that you can do. Kind of a little bit of a cross between Astroneer and Trailmakers and Scrap Mechanic. But the problem that I found when I got into the game, however, it wasn't so simple. When you first get into Plasma, it has that Astroneer sort of feel for me. You're introduced to various different things, a little remote control card, but it introduces you to what you can do. You get a brief little taster of what you can build using all this different interactable stuff that you see dotted around the grounds. And eventually you're introduced to the world of Sketch. Now this is Sketch, it's a very basic programming thing, or at least you're led to believe it's basic when it's got its first introduction to you. Now further along the land you see all this wild stuff and this is all programmed using that Sketch program. And with this walker, you can see just how complicated this thing can actually get. Now for a creative game, I'm starting to feel a little bit out of my depth, massively. In this little room, we do have about seven different examples of sketch, and it talks you through how to do various different things, and they're varying different difficulties, but there's nothing too complex in here. The complicated stuff starts when you start the tutorial on base building. So this is the first introduction for me to sketch when things get a little bit sketchy. If it wasn't for the developer basically telling me everything that I needed to know, I wouldn't have a clue at all. We've just put a keypad on the building and that's what we're going to use to get into the door. And you've got the nodes in front of us. But he's now saying that we need a comparison node so that the game understands the number that we enter on the keypad. Is that our password? It needs to be able to compare the two. Well, that's all well and good, and I'm grateful that the developer was able to talk us through this tutorial to tell us that. But as you go through these tutorials, you'll start to feel a theme that you need to have an understanding of some sort of programming to really get the full out of this game that you can. As you go through the Plasma Turret tutorial, he comes again with a, oh, we just need to add a percentage map node in here. That's all well and good if you know this. For a lot of casual gamers, we're not going to know what maps or what nodes we're going to be needed where to make things happen. From a building point of view, I do find the rotation to be a little bit of a hiccup. It always seems to place objects the wrong way up and rotating them the right way up seems to be a bit of an issue, being as it only seems to be able to rotate 90 degrees, not 180, which does see you pretty much end up destroying your entire build just trying to rotate an object round. And still at this point, you can't really see very well if you have got it rotated in the way that you want it to be. First impressions, I do feel that there's gonna be a big chunk of people who are gonna be disappointed by this game because of that programming knowledge. However, if you want to stick around, if you want to learn something, stick at this game. I do feel it has so much potential. It does kind of feel like the world is your oyster. If you can get through that programming issue and understand how it all goes together and how it works, I don't really feel that there's many limits yet. People who already have that programming knowledge, well, I think this is going to be a game for you. If you've got that creativity and you understand how it all works, go for it and see where you come up. I do think it's important not to be naive at the fact that this is a game that you can just pick up and play and achieve everything because it really isn't one of those sorts of games. But I do feel that there is so much that it does have to offer as well as the learning that you can benefit from it. The only way to find out for yourself is to pick up the demo and play Plasma while it's available. It's not going to cost you anything to play the demo and it's going to give you the best idea of the game that itself rather than just looking at the videos if you do pick it up though let me know what you think i'll be very interested to hear everybody else's opinion on this whether you think it's a game that's got such a steep learning curve it's going to put people off or if you feel that it actually offers a decent way into understanding programming for people